Yeah. You don't need to know everything. Mm -hmm. You just need to be brave yeah. and you need to be determined and just yeah. have faith in what you yeah. want to do. If you have the faith yes. and the bravery, mm -hmm. there's there's no reason you can't succeed. This is Don't Fear Grit with Wob Taormina. Marketing strategies and advertising technologies to help you build a better business. Hey guys, welcome back. And today we have someone that's going to help us to dance our way to success. We have Michelle in the studio. Thanks, Michelle, for coming out. Thanks for having me. Very excited. So my wife has gone to your dance studio and she comes back like full of energy and so positive. So you 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 have like a positive experience dance studio. That's what I like to call it, I guess. Yes, you I have, like calling it that too. <laughs> <laughs> you have such an amazing like just vibe and energy and bubbly and you're just so positive. And, and I think if people just hung out with you, they would be happier. Depression would go away. Yeah, I think you should <laughs> say that louder for the people yeah. in the back. <laughs> <laughs> so just give some context to all, all of our listeners and people who watch the show. Who are you? What business do you own? Where is it? All that good stuff. All right. So I'm Michelle Marcienti. I am a Smithtown East alumni, St. James born and bred. And I own Dance On, which is an adult dance and fitness studio. And it is just for 18, uh, people 18 years and older. So it's you have to be 18 to join. Mm -hmm. There's no, um, you know, younger classes, no kiddie classes. It's yeah. just for adults. Yeah. So growing up as a dancer, um, you know, you graduate high school, you graduate your studio. Then what do you do? Right. Dance was a right. part of your life for 18 plus years, maybe. Mm -hmm. Now where do you go? If you don't live in a big city, you're maybe not by Broadway Dance Center, Steps. Yeah. You're not yeah. by a studio maybe that right. offers these kinds of classes. Yep. So then you would have to trek into the city. Who has the time? Sure. So, and that alone is stressful, but you're trying to dance to de-stress. Yeah. So it's just counterproductive. Yeah. So um, after a very dramatic breakdown at 25 years old, <laughs> I decided. The quarter life crisis. Yes, the quarter life crisis <laughs> brought on Dance On. Yeah. So it's just a place for people to come yeah. and literally find out why people say dance your troubles away. Yeah. So we offer weekly classes, both dance and fitness. So we offer like traditional dance mm -hmm. classes like tap, jazz, hip hop, contemporary. Um, and then we offer fitness classes like bar, boot camp, 305 Fitness, which is like the, le the latest thing in the city, yeah. um, as well as dance cardio which is mm -hmm. essentially like a zumba class but you're dancing to more of like today's hits yeah um and it has like less like spanish you know background yeah um and it's just a really stress-free environment so right. you don't have to worry about coming to class every single week like yeah. you did when you were younger if you mm -hmm. can make a class you know a, a tap class on tuesday but you mm -hmm. can't make it the following week that's fine yeah you know we it's new every single week so you're oh, never wow. missing anything yeah it's just a place to come sure forget about life for an hour just kind of get lost in the movement yeah um, and we offer classes for people uh, who have never danced before so sure. beginner classes and then we also offer intermediate classes for people who have been dancing and you know just want to keep up with it and you know remember why they did it for so long yeah so that's what we do at dance on it's just a I place gotcha. to one of our uh, dancers said it's a place to come curse and shake your butt and just feel great. <laughs> and I was like, wow, that's our new tagline. Yeah, exactly. Great, Put it on you. all the marketing Yeah, materials. that's it. I'm getting shirts. Great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> great. So that's what we do. We just have a wow. great time. We have, you know, really cool color changing lights yeah. that we leave on in the room. Yes. So it's kind of in like a darker room, mm -hmm. but no one's looking at you. No mm. one's judging you. You're just dancing with yourself in the mirror. You know, yes. our, all our instructors are really, really positive yeah. and supportive. You know, they're, you know, say like, yeah, I see you twerking back there. Like, you yeah. know, they, they yeah. make you feel good. Sure. So that you just forget about yeah. life. And yeah. that's what our goal is. We want right. to help people dance through life, yes. forget about their troubles and their worries, yeah. and just have a great time. Well, I think it's amazing what you're doing. And I think you're feeling a, a massive need in the area, yeah. you know, targeting you know, adults that want to continue to dance, Absolutely. but maybe are not professionals, and right. but they know that they feel good about themselves. Right. And so that's an amazing thing that you're doing. Thank so kudos you. to you. Thank you. Um, so tell us though, how you got started. Um, like why did you decide to open up a dan dance studio? Like opening up a business is hard, Yes. right? Opening up a dance studio, is even harder. Right. So why did you decide to do that? So um, on my 25th birthday, I was having breakfast with my mom. She made yeah. me a lovely birthday breakfast, okay. and I cut into my waffle, and I started crying. And she You're was, emotional. Um, 
Tr- okay, so I guess I should preface this by saying <laughs> I don't consider myself a crier. Yet okay. these stories might prove otherwise. Because normally people don't cut into waffles and start crying. I know. Yeah. It's weird. I yeah, know. Yeah. I'm just going to say that was an off day. Okay. So, um, but yes, I was freaked out about turning 25. Yeah. I was in a job that I did not like whatsoever. Sure. Um, it just, did, I wasn't happy. And I was mm-hmm. looking at all my friends and I'm like, oh my God, they seem so happy. You know, the curse of social media. So I'm looking and I'm like, oh my God, uh, look at this one, look at that one, yeah. what am I doing? Oh my God. So my mom goes, oh my God. She goes, I can't listen to you anymore. Yeah. She goes, here's money, please leave. I said, where do you want me to go? She goes, I don't care where you go. She sounds like an Italian mom. She's 100% an Italian <laughs> mom and I wouldn't want her any other way. Yeah. So um, she goes, get your nails done, go get your hair done, yeah. go take a dance class. That's the only time you're happy. And oh, I okay. said, where do you want me to go? Yeah. Uh, by the time I get into the city, yes. sign up for a class, uh-huh. I'm already two hours in yes. for what, an hour dance class? And then I'm going to have to do all the whole commute back home? I don't want to do that. Right, right. So she goes, then that's it. That's what you're going to do. You're going to open up a dance studio for people like you wow. who have nowhere to go. Go, mom. Go, mom. Wow. I know. This is why she's my number one girl. Hey, mom. <laughs> <laughs> so she, um, I, and I looked at her and I said, Okay, yeah. I'm gonna do it. So my whole life, you know, mm-hmm. I'm I'm a control freak. Mm-hmm. This doesn't make me sound too good, but I'm a control <laughs> freak. I'm very organized. I'm yeah. very, you know, I know what I want. Sure. I know what to do. Yep. I'll figure it out. You know, my mom's um a per- we we call her um what do we call her? Mom? Jack Jack of all trades. Oh, yeah, mom. Yeah. We call her a bunch of things, <laughs> all good things. But yes, yeah. So you know, she she can just figure it out. Yeah, you know, she. Yeah. She swears by cable ties. She thinks they can fix everything. Nice. So, and she somehow makes them do. So yeah. it works. So I feel like I got that gene from her. So okay. I knew I could do it. I knew I could be a boss. I mm. knew I could be organized. Mm. I knew I could be, you know, have that strong hand, but also that welcoming smile. Yeah. I knew I could do it. Have mm-hmm. coaching since I'm 19. You're a boss of the team. So that okay. was kind of like my Coaching school. a dance team? Yes. Oh, okay. The Smithtown East uh, JV Kickline team. Oh, okay. Hey girls. So that was kind of like my schooling for being a boss. Yeah. So, you know, I went to school for, you know, math education and I got my master's in math education. So I had the math. Um, Now it was just the business aspect of it. Wow. Okay. So I went to my aunt Roro, who owns Chorus Line Dance Studio. Mm -hmm. That's where I grew up dancing, graduated from. And I told her my idea. Mm -hmm. And she goes, That's a great idea. And I said, I just wanted you to know because. When you know it comes out, I don't want you to think I'm opening up a kid studio sure. because I'm not. Right. I don't want to do it. With I you. don't want to do the kids. Right. It's not for me. Yep. I want adults only. Yeah. So she goes, you can do whatever you want, and I'll support you. Even if it was kids, I'd support you. Whatever you want to wow. do, I'm here for you. have an amazing you. family. I really do. I'm wow. very blessed. So I said, okay. So that was Sunday. So then the next day, I'm at work, and mm-hmm. my aunt Roro texts me, and she goes, why don't you come over after school? Okay. I have a great idea. So now I'm panicking Mm -hmm. because I'm like, oh my gosh, what is she going to say? I don't know what to do. I'm Mm -hmm. texting my mom. My mom's like, you need to calm down. You're a little crazy. (laughs) She's like, I'll come with you. Don't worry. Yeah. So I go. And now my Aunt Roro had um, a two-room dance school in Smithtown. Okay. um, Right across from the entrance to Northern State Parkway. Mm -hmm. So I go over and she goes, I have an idea. Mm -hmm. Why don't you rent the room from me? That way, you don't have to worry about building a storefront. You don't have to worry about getting anything. No supplies, nothing. Just take no the room. overhead. Nothing. Yeah. That's it. And that was really why I was able to do this. Yeah. So from I decided I was going to do this in July. Mm-hmm. And then the following July 1st, I opened the doors. So oh, my gosh. It was um, an overwhelming year. It yeah. was a huge learning year. There sure. was a lot of things that... I yeah. had no idea what I was talking about. Right. You Opening know, I, up a dance school it doesn't mean we're just going to dance all the time. No, That's all it right. is, right? You have to figure out scheduling. All you have of that. to figure out, you know, what do people want? Yes. You know, how long do people want to dance for? What times do they want to dance? Yeah. You know, things like that. Yeah. Um, and, you know, you have to try to figure out, well, why are they going to want to come here? Mm. Like, yeah, okay, that's great. Like, it's somewhere to dance. Mm-hmm. But if they've been dancing at Broadway Dance Center in the city, right. why are they going to leave that right. to come to Great a point. little, you know, new yep. studio on Long Island? Yeah. So I did a lot of research. I looked at a lot of, you know, fitness yes. classes and stuff. And I wanted to make it more fitness-based so mm-hmm. that way people felt a little bit more comfortable coming right. in. Because sometimes, you know, and I learned this going along yes. the way, I would say advanced contemporary. And, you know, one of my friends, te- I texted her and I said, you want to take the class with me? And she's like, Michelle, I haven't danced in mm. like five years, I don't think I could do advanced. Mm. That's you know, a little intimidating. And I was like, oh, well, what if I called it intermediate? Mm-hmm. And she was like, no, I could do that. She's like, you know, I don't, yeah. I don't think I would want to do beginner. Perception, but, that's all it is. Right, so yeah, I was like, yeah, oh, yeah. okay. So, you know, learning these little things along yeah. the way really okay. helped. Um, 
but you know i i had to find an accountant i had to find you know sound and all that i never had to do anything like that in my life you know i'm 27 i'm living home i'm never leaving sorry (laughs) um so you know it was just like i had to really really grow up in one year so um i remember you know my mom thank god for her she was full on board Mm. she was like all right let's do this let's do this let's do that do you have this do you have that my sister was so excited for me um and i remember you know making a PowerPoint for my dad mm-hmm. to tell him that I was leaving teaching to go. You made a my PowerPoint. Book. I made a PowerPoint. To present this to your father. And I did. You did not. I swear. And I shook through the whole thing. Hold on. We're gonna, well, let's talk about this. <laughs> so you just, you had another job before I this? did. I was a middle school teacher. So you were a teacher. I was. So uh, that's right. So you have your degrees in math. So yes. you're a math teacher? I am. Wow. So you're a math teacher. Yes. You're working. And then you want to make this big shift. You've done all your due diligence. Mm-hmm. You've done all your homework. Mm-hmm. You're ready to launch. Yep. And the way that you tell your daddy. PowerPoint. 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 And obviously I know how it ended up. So it worked. Yeah. <laughs> you're hesitant <laughs> there. All right. So, yes. so I want to know everything. Like so you walk in. Was it on a computer? Did you put it on your TV? No. So I said to my mom, I said, can you sit with me? And she goes, absolutely not. She yeah. goes, you're a big girl. Yeah. Do it yourself. So I was yeah. like. Okay, so I said, yeah. um, you know, in our house we have um, kind of like a back porch patio. So, sure. you know, I set it up on my computer on the table. And, yeah. You know, I had the chair ready for him, and I said, "Can I just, you know, I want to show Got you something." Got a glass of wine. Yeah, and... uh, oh my gosh, <laughs> I, I was trying to figure like, what's his favorite cookies? Oh my yeah, God. yeah, yeah, yeah. So he came in, and I mm-hmm. sat down, I clicked through the whole thing, yeah. and he, um, you know, like any father, yeah. was, you know, concerned, sure. you know, wanted to make sure I was going to be okay. You know, yep. teaching is a great job. Mm-hmm. Um, it just wasn't for me. Yeah. So, you know, I I think I really won him over at my grand opening because I did it all myself. I had the bagels, the, you know, drinks. I had um, a friend of mine. She owns her own uh, little boutique store. So I had her bring her clothes. Oh, I wow. had raffles from local businesses. Oh, my gosh. Um, You're you know, a hustler. My goodness. I am. I am. Yeah. So I'm very blessed to have people around me yeah. who showed me the way. Yeah. So, um you know, I had everything going. I was mm-hmm. all ready. And when I came home that day, um, and you know, he came, he walked yeah. in, he saw. And then um, when I came home that day, he said, my family calls me Bella. And mm-hmm. he goes, you know, Belle, you didn't miss a thing. You know, you had everything there. You, yeah. you did a good job. So, of course, me being the scutch I am, yeah. I was like, you can say it. I know what that means. You can say you're proud. It's okay. You can. Say, I won't tell <laughs> anyone. So he starts <laughs> laughing. And then from then on, it was okay. You know, wow. once he saw... That I'm, I am taking this seriously. Yes, this, I understand. That was key. I yes, think. yes. Yeah. So you know, I, I mean, and even still, there are things that I'm like, wait, I have to do what? Mm. Like there are things that you just don't know unless you actually go through it. Yeah. And um, I was talking to Sadie, who's the creator of 305 Fitness. Mm-hmm. Um, my wonderful sister got me a workshop with her, and I was talking to her, and I, I said to her, you know, and she has this huge business. She has mm. studios all over the country. Yeah. You know, so. She's like big scale. And I said to her, you know, do you ever feel like there's days where like you just want to wish you never did it? Yeah. And she was like, oh, yeah. She hmm. goes, there are days I wish I never did it. She wow. goes, but there are mo- they're just seconds. Yeah, she goes, yeah, yeah. And then the rest of the day I'm smiling. Right. She goes, and, you know, there are days where I feel really lonely because mm-hmm. no one else understands mm-hmm. what it's like to own a business unless they do. Right. So now in my head, I'm like, oh, my God, am I lonely? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Is that another thing I have to worry about? Yeah. So, um, but she, you know, it's. It's just nice to talk to people yeah. who understand what you're going through, yes. who, you know, have literally built it from the yes. ground zero yeah. up. So yep. I think, you know, talking to those people really, really helped me yes. um, learning from them. And, you know, I just I really love what I do because I feel like I'm not in competition with anyone else because we're only adults. That's it. There's no other studio on Long Island that is no. just 18 and older. That's wow. it. So I feel, you know, comfortable. And, you know, if there were to be another person that wanted to do this somewhere, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. more power to them. Yeah. You know, um, I think it's there are so many people out there who just want to dance. And yeah. They just have no. Yeah. Way to go. I, I actually think that if anything, I would encourage other people to open up schools that are dedicated to that because it creates market. Then. Yeah. If there are, you know, let's say there's another place, you know, an hour from here and in either direction yeah. creating these places, it's building awareness, yeah. creating interest and it just yeah. helps. Yeah. Actually, those studios Absolutely. get more uh, more people to sign up. Yeah. So I think uh, I think that's that's a way that they're you can have healthy competition right. in marketplace. Right. So uh, I think that that'll be great. Yeah. So, all right, you've it's you're really impressing me. By the way, thank you. I was not informed of most of this. <laughs> 
I did not know you were a, a mathematician, so I've yes. got Einstein sitting next to <laughs> well, me. Well, don't say that. I yeah. Don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and I love your story, the fact that, you know, you had another career, you were going in that direction, mm -hmm. and, you know, you just took an opportunity, yep. um, and you ran with it. Yep. You know, you... It, even if you had some fears along the way, mm -hmm. you tackled them, you, right. you know, you dealt with it head on. Mm -hmm. That's a big part, I think, of entrepreneurship that most people don't pursue what it is that they want because they just, it's just this element of fear. I 100% agree. Yeah. I think that you, you just have to be brave. Yeah. You don't need to know everything. Mm -hmm. You just need to be brave yeah. and you need to be determined and just yeah. have faith in what you yeah. want to do. If you have the faith yes. and the bravery, mm -hmm. there's there's no reason you can't succeed. Yeah, I mean, there's also one more part of it and then you sort of just naturally did it anyway. I mean, you're a very smart person. You are organized. You're a type A, yeah. clearly. Oh, yes, <laughs> absolutely. And you didn't just impulsively pursue this. I mean, you told me that it took you months. I think it was about a year actually. A year, yeah. You did a lot of homework. Yes. You learned all of the mm -hmm. parts of owning a business that was not related to just dance. Right. To give to position yourself mm -hmm. for a better chance of success. Right. And that's I think why you're doing so well yeah, with this. Thank you. Yeah. We're trying. We're trying. You know, yeah. we're still very new. And you yeah. know, when I was, you know, starting and I you know, all my family, they were like, you know, it takes about five years to decide, you know, if your business is good yeah. or not. And in my yeah. head I'm like, What? I'm like, five <laughs> years. I'm like, Oh my God. That's I'm an like eternity. What do you mean? I'm like, I'm yeah. not gonna know in the first month. Right, and they were like, right. No, you're yeah. not gonna know in the first year, you're not yeah. gonna know in the second no. year. No. And it's so true, you know, I mean yeah. we I Thank God, you know, we're, we're doing well. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we have people that keep coming back. You know, yeah. we give them reasons to keep coming sure. back. And now we have really our own community. I mean, we have people yes. who come from the Rockaways wow. that come to dance with us. And we have people that come out from Manorville that come to dance with That's us. That's incredible. So it's just yes. a great environment. And it, yeah. it really is contagious. Mm -hmm. When you leave, you're like, Oh, yes. I get it now. Yeah. And now I need to bring everyone that I know. Yeah. And yeah. that's just really what's been our, you know, our biggest blessing is yeah. word of mouth. You know, yes. we, when I did this, you know, my mom said, oh, you know, you got to go into the penny saver. And I'm like, I don't even know where to get a penny saver. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. I don't think I've ever seen one. Yes. I said, I, I'm not. Yeah. I'm not. And it was yeah. um, another um, girl that I, I grew up with. She danced with my sister. So she's yeah. older. She actually opened the Pure Bar in Miller Place, Katie okay. Zimmer. Yeah. Uh, well, that's not her married name. But okay. um, she said to me, I, I met with her. I opened July 1st. I met with her in September. And we were talking and. You know, I said to her, I just hope that I'm doing everything I can mm. to make this what it can be. Yes. And she said, well, are you paying for ads on social media? And yeah. I said, no. And she goes, well, then you're not. Mm. And in my head, I'm like, okay, <laughs> sure. All this other backbreaking work that I'm doing. But yes. uh, okay, sure. Yeah. So I thought about what she said. And that night, you know, yeah. I looked into it. I was laying in bed and I looked mm -hmm. into it. And I was like, okay, this says I can pay $2 a day for five days mm -hmm. and I'll reach X amount of people. All right, yeah, I, yeah. I can spare the $10, let me sure. see. Yeah. So it was 9 p.m. at night, I did it, Yeah. and I said it. Sure. I woke up the next day with like three new messages. Oh my gosh. Uh, 50 something new likes on the page, yeah. and I was like, oh my God, I went back <laughs> on, worked. it was like $100 a day. <laughs> like, oh, I'm just, I, it worked, it yes, really did. it does. So, yeah. and that's really what I do. I just, you know, yeah. from time to time, do the social media ads, yeah. but everything else is really word of mouth. Yeah. And yeah, whenever yeah. there's an event going on in the community, mm -hmm. I always donate a basket and give wow. away free classes just to get us out there, yeah. you know, and, and be give present. back. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And give back and, you mm -hmm. know, support people that will hopefully support me in the end and yeah. Yeah. see what happens from there. Yeah. Well, you've created, I mean, you're not just a dance studio. I right. think you were very smart from the very beginning to come up with an angle. Thank you. You know, so yeah. this, your angle makes you unique and it gets people curious and paying attention to yeah. you. So it's great. But even more so than that, and I don't know if you intentionally figured this out, like you were pursuing it or just, it just happened because you're just very smart at what you do, but experiential sort of components to service-based businesses mm -hmm. is key to success. Absolutely. And yeah. the, you knew that. Yeah. It was just like inherent in you. Like I knew I had to create a good experience and yes. you did it. I, I have to say that's really all my teachers. They wow. they really are just phenomenal. Mm. They really are. I mean, I have my sister who works for me. And, oh, know, is that right? She, yes, she does. And, and you guys get along? Yes. Wow. You know what? Because we're, we're different people. Oh, and okay. she understands the crazy in me. So yes. she just does what I want and oh, she's right. great. Yes. And I, I, thank you, Nikki. She's just, <laughs> she's great. But wow. you know, I um, she's has two young ones at home. Oh, wow. Um, and it's so funny because my sister, she, I mean, she's not, you know, um, what's the word? She's not like very conservative, but you know, she's more like the way I describe my sister is if you had to take an elevator, elevator ride with her for yeah. a floor, yes, you'd be best friends. 
My okay. sister just makes me feel like the only person in the entire world when oh, I'm talking okay. to her. She's just that kind of person. She's Perfect, a great person. by the way, then, in that yeah, job. Absolutely. That yes. So, and you know, then I describe me where if we're going up in the elevator together, I'm, you're not even going to see my face because I'm staring at the floor the whole time. Like, just don't don't talk to me. I just, I just, really? I, yeah, I don't. I, I don't get that impression, like, at all. It's, it's weird. It's Because when I talk about dance and dance on and even, like. Then you turn like, on. Then you're. It's it. Yeah. That's it. Oh, I'm just, I, see I can saying. talk about anything. Um, but when it comes to like meeting new people, sometimes I'm like, yeah. I'm definitely the more shy one. Wow. Um, so my sister, you know, thank God she, I say she has an alter ego because mm. now when she comes to teach her three or five classes and her heels classes and all that stuff, yeah. she's wearing all these outfits and oh she my walks gosh. in and I'm like, who are you? I'm like, what <laughs> happened? Oh my God. It's like another wow. world. But it's just. That's just what we are. Yeah. We're a place where people can come and be another person if they want wow. to. They can really let their inner self yes, out. Yes. And that's what we want. We okay. want people to feel comfortable enough mm -hmm. to dance in a sports bra if they want to dance in a sports wow. bra. Take it off if you want to take it off. We don't care. You know, wow. We're all just here to have a good time. Let so, it hang out. <laughs> literally, let it hang out. We don't care. Oh, my goodness. Know? No, wonder, no so, wonder my wife actually yeah. likes to go there. Okay, I get it. Yeah, um, so it's just it's just a great time. Wow. So, and I'm really thankful for all my teachers. Yeah. They do like an outstanding job. And yeah. So it's a judge free zone. Absolutely judge free. Yeah. A hundred percent. You know, wow. I say um, in on social media, I posted a picture one time, and I the caption was, you know, come as strangers, leave as best friends. Mm. And everyone was like, so true, so true, so true. You know, yes, absolutely. Yeah. And, and that's just it's true. You know, you yes. have now you have your dance friends again. Yeah. You know, my best friends. I have two girls that I met when I was six years old at dance, they're still yeah. my best friends. Wow. It's just a connection that, you know, any dancer mm. out there or even any athlete out yeah. there, you, you have that bond with your team, yep. with your people. Sure. So, um, and we're, you know, bringing that back. And that's wow. just something that was really, I was missing from my life. And, you know, I was yeah. kind of hanging on to those people that I danced with in high school. Like, mm. I don't want to lose that bond. I don't want to lose that connection. Like, right. I, I need it. It made me so sure. happy. So now... You know, we opened up, and now we have new dance friends. Old dance friends are all coming together. It's That's just incredible. Great. Yeah. So, th I mean, this also sounds like a great way for, like you're saying, let's say there's a group of friends. They mm -hmm. knew each other in high school. They yep. fell apart a little bit yep. through college. They, everyone is getting married. They have kids. Yep. They're doing, they're, they're doing life, right. right? And, you know, would this be a great thing for maybe some friends to get together and come in? Absolutely. So, you know, we have people. Um, there are some people who I would definitely be one of them where okay. I would be a little intimidated to go by myself yeah so you know if people are still home and in the area mm. you know hey I really saw this I saw this class it looked mm -hmm. a lot of fun would you want to take it with me kind mm -hmm. of a thing and I have you know reconnected with a lot of people since then doing okay. that so um, I danced for the New York Cosmos the soccer team um, oh, wow. for a couple years and that was, you know, a bond I was missing. And, mm. you know, those girls, some of my teammates now come and dance with me at my oh, studio. Wow. So it's just a good time. But um, yeah. we also offer free class. Um, let me rephrase that. Yeah. We offer group classes. Oh, okay. So, um, you know, if you want to come for a birthday. Everything's free. Everything's free. <laughs> come to dance on. Yeah, you know, yeah, definitely. Yes, <laughs> but, we, um, we don't have to pay our bills. No, that's fine. Money yeah. is not enough. No, yeah, no, 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 that's fine. Money yeah. grows on trees, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's what so I hear. So it's fine. So, um you know, we, if you have a birthday party yeah. or we've had bachelorette parties that come and they oh, just wow. do a 305 class. That's so, you know, idea. Yeah, so we do $30 per person. Okay. And, you know, with that, we get decorations. Mm -hmm. You get to pick the class you want to take and the instructor. Um, we, you know, pick a time that's, you know, off business hours. Mm -hmm, so it's mm -hmm. just you guys in there. Okay. And then we also get, you know, like fruit and, you know, like snacks and stuff for, wow. you know, as well. So okay. you're okay. getting the whole class experience. Yes. You're getting the little decor that you want. Mm -hmm. You're getting like snacks and mm -hmm. drinks mm -hmm. and whatever. And then, and there's a liquor store right next door. <laughs> if that's you want convenient. to get some meals on the way home, <laughs> but we don't have a liquor license. So don't ask. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, so it's wow. just, you know, it's a great thing. Yes. I mean, like think about when you, you know, I don't know if guys are the same way, but you know, when girls go out mm -hmm. and you just dance with your friends, there's mm. nothing like it. Even at a wedding, when you're dancing with a bunch of people, sure. it's just so fun. It is fun. I mean, think about when you go to a concert and everyone's dancing. No one's oh, judging sure. you. You're just dancing and Absolutely. having a good time. Yeah. So that's what we do. We just dance and we have a good time, whether yeah. it's with people that you know and it's a private class mm -hmm. or with you know strangers yeah. that will eventually be you know telling you that you have a great butt when yeah. you leave. Yeah. Like, it's just a good time. Yeah, I think dance is one of those things that like we all have in common. I think you nailed it. You know, even when you go to like a wedding or any party yep. right people talk about two things the food and the music absolutely. the music you know why because whether or not you're on the dance floor absolutely yeah so it is a huge part of of you know 
uh, of life. And, and I bet you that there's some type of science that like what dance does like to your mind. It like probably yeah. triggers something in there. I, you know, I've seen so many different articles that say, you know, it helps with Alzheimer's. You yeah. Know, it helps with, you know, obviously endorphins. And, yeah. You know, yeah. triggering that happy brain. Yeah. Um, but there's so many articles out there. And there's so there really is so much science behind mm. it. I mean, when you're dancing, you're just forgetting about everything. Right. So it, there's right. really nothing like it. I yeah. mean, I, I don't know about anyone else, but when I go to the gym and I go on the Stairmaster, a minute feels like a year, <laughs> and I'm miserable. <laughs> right. But when I'm dancing, yes. it's like, oh, this is amazing. Yeah, I'm let's talk so about that fit, the fitness um, yes. sort of benefits of it. So I know if someone comes, they'll learn how to dance, yes. right? So they, they could. They, they could. could learn mm -hmm. how to dance. They could have fun. Yes. Right? What's the fit fitness benefits to the way that you've organized your classes? So f it depends on what class you come to, but no matter what, you're getting cardio in. Mm -hmm. So you're sweating. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have the AC on 65, and yeah. people are still dripping wow. sweat. Wow, okay. Um, so that's the cardio aspect of it. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, in 305, bar, boot camp, um, you know, dance cardio, yeah. and even the traditional dance classes, there's yeah. always a section where it targets your abs. You know, you're working your stomach, you're working your core, your core, mm -hmm. you're working your mm -hmm. glutes, everything. Um, and then even tap, mm. you know, you're doing all these intricate little moves oh, with your sure. feet. So you're working your calves, yes. your thighs, your, if your feet, your ankles, oh, everything. Yeah. So it's really, when you think of dance, you think of cardio, mm -hmm. but it's just the little stuff in between yeah. that's really targeting those little muscles sure. in between the bigger ones. Yes. And that's the, the strengthening part yes. of it. So, you know, I wanted to bring fitness into it, not just dance. Yes. I wanted to bring fitness into it because I feel that's less intimidating to people. Mm. I feel like they, you know, everyone wants to work out at some point, yeah. whether it's your New Year's resolution or you do it every day. And but and also some people want to do it because they want to get the benefits, but they hate going exactly. to the gym. They yep. hate the process of oh, that, that, that type of exercise. Yep. Mm -hmm. So to be able to provide an option that you get the same exercise fitness benefits yep. but it's fun and you don't have to hate right. it that's exactly. amazing absolutely yeah i mean i if i lived in the city i would be doing it all the time yeah. but i yeah. don't i'm not mm -hmm. trekking into the city sure. so the fact that you know yeah. i could bring it out here is just really amazing yeah 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 that's really cool that's Thank a, you. a lot of fun yeah. all right so all right first before we go on um right now for people to, that are just tuning in can you just quickly just what's the name of your business where can they find it we are Dance On, an adult dance fitness studio, and we are located on 347 in Smithtown, across from the entrance to Northern State Parkway. Gotcha. What about like online? Do you have a website, Facebook? We do. It's danceonli.com. Mm -hmm. And on there, you can sign up for classes. You can view our schedule, mm -hmm. pricing, all the classes that we offer. Sure. There's all the bios of the teachers that you can yeah. see. Yeah. Um, and then from there, you can access all our social media. So we have an Instagram that um, I run, and I think I'm really funny. So you should go look. <laughs> Um, okay. It's at Dance on Li, yeah, and then we're also on Facebook. Okay, so you can find us there. Amazing. So you're accessible on, on various uh, online yes. platforms, websites, social media, mm -hmm. and when they message, you're going to be replying. Yep, I do, and I always okay. reply within a day. Oh, that's amazing. Always. Okay. Because you know everyone nowadays has their phone in their hands. Yes. You know. You know I literally so. have it on the table right, right. now as we're interviewing. <laughs> so, right. So yeah. I mean, it's right in my hand. I'm seeing yes. it come in. Everything's you know directed okay. to my phone. Awesome. So awesome. if I don't respond within the hour, that's mm -hmm. just because I'm trying to get more information. To yeah. respond to you the best way I possibly can. That's great. You're fully yeah. invested. A hundred percent. No that. turning back. Yeah. This is my baby. That's yeah. It. See, I wish that more entre entrepreneurs knew this part of owning a business. Yes. That it's not just, you know, the, the glitz and glamour. No. You know, I think that's a false perception. It's a false reality. And I think the reality of it is when, in fact, you open a business, you're working longer and oh. harder than a nine to five. Absolutely. You know, when... And I guess being a teacher is kind of a bad example because, you know, when you're a teacher, you have to come home, you're planning, sure. you're grading, you're mm -hmm. answering parent emails yeah, and all that yeah, stuff. Yeah. So that's kind of a bad example. But, yeah. you know, my father is an insurance agent. So, oh, okay. you know, when he comes home, yeah. he's home. He's home. But, you know, being a business owner, you wake up thinking about it. You're eating thinking sure. about it. You're doing whatever you're doing thinking about it. Yes. You go to sleep thinking about it. Yeah. It's always on your mind. There's right. not one day you're not thinking about your business. I yes. just went away last week yes. and every single day I was on the Instagram, I was mm. on the email, I was on, you know, I was making yes. sure everything was okay mm. as I'm walking through Main Street and Disney. But, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. it's, I don't mind it. Yeah. So, you know, when I was a teacher, I would cry and I was so stressed out and yeah. Sunday scaries were real. Do you still cry oh over waffles God. now? No, no I love crying. them. Oh, I love waffles. <laughs> they make me so happy now. I good. don't cry yes. as much yeah. anymore. Yes. Okay. But, you know, now I tell people, you know, 
so many people tried to talk me out of it too. Yeah. You know, teaching such a great job. What are you doing? And I'm like, huh. I'm miserable. Yes. Do you want me miserable? I'm, no, I'm, you know, a lot of no. people are, are safe in comfort. Yes, exactly. And I'm just not, you yeah. know, after seeing, you know, my dad was sick and after seeing him like that, I'm mm. like, life is just too short. Yeah. I can't do it. Yeah. I don't want to, you know, be like, oh, retirement in 21 years. Yeah. Okay. 21 years. And then have regret. Years. Exactly. I think regret's a cancer. Oh my gosh. It's horrible. Yeah. So I figured I'm 25. Yeah. If I fail in five years, I'm 30. I can right. go right back to something else. 30 Great is, point. 30 is the new 20. Yeah. Right? So it's fine. <laughs> Great so point. Yeah. I figured I'm home. Mm -hmm. I don't really have any major responsibilities. Yes. You know, yes. I don't, I don't have any kids. I don't have anyone to take yeah. care of. Yeah. Let me, if I'm going to waste it all now, let yes. me do it now. Right. And you know, I'm just very grateful that my yeah. mom and my dad, you know, support me and they help yes. me. And you yes. know, my dad always says, you know, how's it going? How's it going? My mom always says, you know, oh, let me see the videos. You know, they're just so excited. Mm -hmm. So I'm very, very grateful that I have mm -hmm. them um, mm -hmm. as my support system because yes. I don't think I could do it without them. Right. But I think that's really important for people who want to own a business. You, yes. you have to find that support group, yes. whether it's at home with your yeah. spouse or your yeah. parents or your you know friend whoever it is yeah you, you just need that support just to look at them and go okay right we're good yep. we're good but you know when i was teaching i was miserable yeah now you know all that stress and now i say yes i'm stressed but it's my own stress mm. i'm controlling it mm -hmm. you know if i'm stressed about you know getting a schedule together well i just got to sit down and do it right that's it you just got to figure out the time just you know, be it really organized. is that simple, by the way. It is. It yeah. really is. Yeah. So, you know, I'm, but like, I, I'm very type A. So everything is done. You know, I always make sure that I leave more time for myself. Mm. So I, I never want to get to that point where I'm like, oh no, tomorrow's December 1st. Do I have schedules printed out? Mm. You know, so I always make sure that I go through it. Um, by the way, that's a great little tip. Yeah. Even schedule time for yourself. Absolutely. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. So, you know, when, um, when I'm not at the studio or I'm not coaching, you yeah. know, I'm home and I have a girl, uh, Jess, that works the front desk for me. And yeah. I think uh, she was actually, I coached her my first year coaching. Oh my gosh. So I knew wow. her since she was a freshman. Oh, I absolutely wow. adore her. So, yeah. you know, she's home. Sounds like a big family that you have. It really there. is. It, yeah. It's your dance family yeah. just coming back together. Yeah. So, um, thank God she knows me because I'm a micromanager. So, okay. you know, I'll text her and say, hey, how's it going? What's this? <laughs> and she'll, and thank God she has the patience. And she'll yeah, explain yeah, it to me. And I'm like, yeah. I'm really sorry, Jess. Yeah. I know you're smart. I know you can do it. And she's like, no, it's okay. She's like, and or she'll text me and be like, just so you know, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Are you like a color coordinated person? Do you have like. Oh, you should see my closet. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Wow. It's, it's a little ridiculous, actually. All right. I'm like Monica from Friends. No, you're not. I swear. So you have the fancy towels that no one can use, not even the, the queen. Well, I have my own bathroom, so oh, no uh, one's using any of my stuff. Because uh, <laughs> that was a huge reason why I didn't want to go away to school. Oh, my uh, gosh. Me, you can't I, dorm with anyone. Oh, my, my mom said to me, she goes, yeah. before I even thought about it, she goes, yeah. when you go to college, yes. you're going to have to wear flip-flops in the shower. And I was like, no. <laughs> no, then I'm not really clean. No, what? No, that's horrible. So, yeah. I mean, I, I had a hard time sharing a bathroom with my sister just because yes. I'm so, like, you know, type A. So Let alone a stranger in oh, a public bathroom, no, public no, shower. No. That freaks me out, too. Yeah. I, no, yeah. no, can't do it. So all those brave people that can, more yeah. power to you. Right, Can't right. do it. But, yeah, oh you know, gosh. it's just – but like you said before, it really is that simple. Yeah. You want to do it, do it. Just mm -hmm. be brave. Be, yeah. you know, consistent. Have faith. Sure. And just do it. Yes. So yeah. – and I, I feel like, you know, I'm – I didn't take any business courses in school mm -hmm. and I, you know, I took one accounting class, you know, my, I love my dad. He, you know, spoiled me rotten growing up. Yes. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, I, I took my first accounting class and I was so excited. I had my notebook and I was like, all right, I'm ready. So now, you know, the teacher put something up on the board and I was a senior in like mm. a freshman course. Cause I thought maybe I want to be an accountant. Maybe, I don't sure. know, whatever, sure. so I back up. I had yeah. to take an elective anyways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she put something up on the board, and everyone started talking about it. Everyone knew what it was. And I'm looking at it, and I'm like, I don't even know what that means. Oh, my God. It's Chinese like, to oh me. Oh, my God. Yeah. I went home. My dad goes, how was school? I was like, you're going to be the reason I failed my first class. Yeah. Oh, my God. He was like, what? He was like, how could you even blame this on me? I was yeah. like, I don't know what I'm doing. But, you know, I, I didn't take any business courses. Yeah. I was, you know, I grew up, you know, thank God, you know, yeah. I had a great life growing up. And yeah, but you learn by doing. Exactly. You learn by doing. And mm -hmm. even now when I talk to some people, um, and they're saying all these like, you yeah. know, business jargon and all yes. this stuff. And, and I don't know what that means, oh, but yeah. then I'm like, oh my God, am I going to fail? Cause I don't know all mm. this, all the ins and outs. I don't know anything about, you know, um, don donors and, mm. you know, things like that. So I get nervous and then I yeah. have that, you know, little second of 
you know, can I really do this? Mm. But then I go to the studio and I see people coming in smiling. Yes. I see people running in the door. I see people leaving yes. smiling. And I'm like, yeah. I don't need to know that business jargon yep. to be successful. Yeah. I just need to be brave, have faith, and keep yes. going. There you go. And that's, I think that was a huge fear of mine. Mm. Being able to compete with all these people who did get a degree in business sure. or who did, you know, who can mm-hmm. w- do all these accounting things. Like, yeah. it's just, it's terrifying. But yeah. I think that's also what makes dance on special is we're down to earth we're right. not we're not a corporate we're right. not we're just normal but you're also real dancers yes right? and we're you know we're everyday people and yeah. you know we're we speak the same language as you yeah. so you know yeah. if you have a question we're going to answer it very basically and right. just a way that you can understand mm-hmm. there's no corporate jargon there's no you know um frou-frou stuff yeah, going on it's yeah, just yeah, this, yeah. let's dance and have a great time right and right right that's it's amazing. It. Yeah. I mean, so you're, you obviously, you were a professional dancer. I was. So you're bringing a lot of professionalism to the, to the yes. table. So there's not a lot of expectation, hopefully, of, let's say, like, I came in there. Mm-hmm. You're not going to expect me to be, be able to dance like you, Absolutely right? Absolutely Because I promise you I will never be able we to dance like We don't want like you that. to dance like us. We oh, want okay. you to dance the way you want to dance. I'm Phoebe. See, you're, you're, you're Monica. I would be Phoebe <laughs> dancing. <laughs> You Do know? you run like Phoebe? I, if I wanted to, yeah. I'm a very free spirit. <laughs> yes, so. but that's what we want. We want, you know, we have people yeah. also who come in. And you know the teacher's doing one thing, and yeah. people are doing something entirely different. Wow! They want to. Right. Don't let them. Right. You don't want to. Yes. You don't want to do what we're doing. Yes. Do whatever you want to do. That's yeah. fine. It's about community. This is your hour. Yes. So do what okay. you want to do. I love it. So we, you know, we have people who have never danced before. We have people who have danced professionally. We yeah. have people all levels. And really. They're just there to have a good time. Wow. We're not competing. Yeah. We're not performing anywhere. Mm-hmm. We're just there mm-hmm. to dance for the hour. That's mm-hmm. it. And that's what I think is really great about Dance On is it's not a commitment. You know, you don't have to worry about coming every single week if you don't want to. Right. Life happens. Yes. We get it. Right. So um, yeah. just having that option wow. that's there, it's like, okay, yeah. I had a really stressful week. Maybe I can make time for myself and go yeah. for the hour. Yeah. If not, they'll still be there next week. Yeah. So that's what we're trying to do. Would you be open to people like, let's say they're curious and it's the person like, I don't have a lot of friends that I can recruit, Mm -hmm. but I'm nervous about meeting new people. Could they come and just check it out? Absolutely. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. So we've had people who come and just kind of like look through the window and like just like observe. Sure. That's fine. Yeah. But usually, you know, we we never offered free trial classes Mm. um, because we know they're going to love it. Yeah. We we know. You know, I've, uh, you know, sometimes people were a little nervous Mm. or, you know, you know, I, I'm real. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, if people yeah. are come in yes. and I mean, it's never happened before. Yeah. Yeah. Thank yeah. God. But you know, if someone comes out after 10 minutes and they're like, I can't do it. Yeah. Here's your money. Back. Right. Right. You know, it's okay. Yeah. You know, we're, we're not, we're not out. We're not money yes. greedy. We're, yeah, not, exactly. we're not trying to hurt anyone. No, you're we're, approachable. We're, yeah. yeah we exactly. just want people to have a good time and that's yeah. it. Amazing. Yeah. All right. So you mentioned some, some classes that you said, oh, it's so popular. It's a big trend. Yes. I've never, I'm going to be honest. I, I might have shook my head. I have yeah. no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> that's okay though. When, when you say bar and 305, yes. t- like, can you describe what are those? Absolutely. Things? So our fitness classes, we have boot camp, which is basically like a full body workout. Okay. And it, you use your body weight. You know, we have two pound weights. Mm. Um, um, that you know you're you probably laugh and you're like oh, two pounds yeah okay but then using oh, them for ten minutes they gosh. feel like you burn oh yes yeah, yeah, yeah. so you know um, we have uh, the boot camp class which is a full body workout it's really high intense mm-hmm. uh, intensity and mm-hmm. um, you know that just targets every single muscle in your body then we have bar which mm-hmm. I describe um, as ballet and Pilates combined oh okay so bar is very low impact so. What that means is you always have at least one foot on the ground. Got it. Um, and it targets those little muscles in between the bigger ones, things okay. that you would never really think about mm. ever. And you don't really know that they even exist mm-hmm. until you're feeling them the next mm-hmm. day. So people always say, oh, well, ballet and Pilates, I was never a ballerina. You don't need to be. Yeah. It's just really, really small movements that just target those small muscles. Mm-hmm. Um and then we have 305 Fitness. So 305 Fitness uh, is in the city, mm-hmm. and it is a full-on dance party. So okay. it's a 45-minute class, and okay. it has about 30 minutes of dancing and dance cardio. Then there's a toning section, mm-hmm. um, which, you know, depending on the teacher, they pick what muscles they want to target. Mm-hmm. Sometimes they take requests, you know. Yeah. Um, and then you have the hip-hop section, um, oh. which is just more dancing. Yeah. But you yeah, get a little yeah. bit of everything. Sure. So And, you know, in that, in the 305 uh, fitness classes and in dance cardio, which mm-hmm. is essentially the same thing. It's just mm-hmm. an hour long. Um, I always tell people, 
it's how you would dance with your girlfriends mm-hmm. at a wedding or how yeah. you would dance with your girlfriends yes. if you're going out right that, or how you would dance with your girlfriends yes. when you're waiting for your food to cook like yeah. that's just like the kind of dancing that you're doing yes. you know you're you're shaking your butt you're shimmying yeah, you know yeah, you're yeah. you're grapevining you know but yeah. even if you don't know what grapevining or shimmying is yep. you're just following the feed or you're just doing whatever you want right that's it yeah and, you know it's just the the people who are all there are very real. They're very yeah. accepting. Yep. They all just want to, you know, be friends and have yeah. a good time. Yeah. So uh, those are the fitness classes that we okay. currently offer. Um, we're trying to get yoga in there. You know, mm. we have a lot of ideas. Um, you know, and that's I would say one of the curses of being a business owner is you have all these ideas in your head and oh, it's I like know. oh my god. And you know, I was telling my mom last week. I said, yeah, you know, for October for breast cancer awareness, you know, I, every single time someone wears pink, I'm going to give them a raffle. Mm. And then at the end of the month, you know, we're going to pick a winner. And so mom goes, oh, that's a good idea for next October. So I go, oh, my God, it's November. I was like, oh, my God. I'm like, what's happening? So, you know, you have all these ideas yeah. and, you know, but you have to still remember to take care of the daily duties and yes. all that stuff. So, yes. you know, writing everything down. You know, I was never yeah. big on, you know, writing and journaling and stuff mm-hmm. like that. Now I have, you know, when I because I am type A, when mm-hmm. I was a teacher, I had all my to-do lists. Mm. Now, I mean, the, the list, it just, it's like a CVS receipt. It just oh keeps going gosh. and going and going. Yeah, but, you yeah, know, yeah. I know one day yes. those will be, yeah. you know, in action. Yes. And I'm still new. I have to keep reminding myself. We're, you mm. know, it's, on December 1st will be a year and a half. Wow. That's it. So I have to keep reminding myself that, actually, January 1st will be a year and a half. Mm. So I have to keep reminding myself, you know, you're new. It's okay. Yeah. You just make sure people are happy and yes. things will happen. Yes. So um, right now, you know, we, we're just trying to figure out still what works. You know, yes. what do people want? When do they want it? Right. How do they want it? So that's what, kind of what we're still trying to yeah, figure out. Yeah, you're still out. studying. Yeah, exactly. Analyzing the data. Yep. I, that's so smart of you. Now, Thank as you. far as like classes currently, mm-hmm. what, what time of the day are these classes? So most classes are in the afternoon. So, um, and it varies day to day. So we do have morning classes, you know, mm-hmm. for um, anyone who maybe works nights or whatever. Yeah, um, stay at home mom. To, exactly, kids know? go to school. Yeah. So we have uh, morning classes right now, um, Wednesday and Friday. And our Wednesday morning class is a 305 fitness class. Okay. And then uh, Friday mornings, it alternates between boot camp and bar. Mm. So that way, if maybe if you only can come Friday, right. you're getting two classes oh, every wow. other week. So. Um, and then we also have our Saturday morning classes, mm-hmm. which there's really no better way to start your weekend. Yes. Um, then we also have classes Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday nights. And they some t- some days they start at five thirty, some days they start at six, mm. some days they start at you know seven. It's yeah. it's all different. We try yeah. to pick times that accommodate people, exactly. right? And it's not that oh my god, but I'm so tired. Mm-hmm. You know, it, mm. it, we still want people. If a class starts at eight o'clock, yeah. we're gonna make it worth it. Yeah, so yeah, you yeah. just come dance, and then when you leave at yeah. nine, you're done. You know, another thing that just came to mind. Like I know, like on Long Island, everyone's always looking for something to do at mm-hmm. night. You know, whether it be, you know, uh, let's find a cool restaurant, let's find a cool bar, let's go bowling or the movies. Mm-hmm. This actually is something that should be on everyone's list. Oh, yeah. Why not go dancing? Absolutely, that's amazing. And you know what's great too is, you know, I've had people who have come and they say, you know, I'm just here because I feel stupid at weddings. Yeah. And you know, all these songs are played at weddings. Right. So if I can okay. dance to this song here, yeah. I can dance to it at a wedding. Wow. So, you okay. know, there's that aspect of it yes. too where people are just coming to feel more comfortable. Yeah. You know, they don't yeah. care about anything else. They just yes. want to feel more comfortable moving. Yes. And there's really no better place yes. to get that yeah, because yeah. no one's no one's judging you. No yeah. one's looking at you. You know, if you mess up, like mm-hmm. people are going to like cheer you on. Mm. Like no one's, you know, people are going to be like, "Oh, I loved your solo." Like no one's no one's there to criticize yes. you or yeah, anything, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know. You're just dancing with you and yourself in the mirror, and that's I love it. it. Yeah, people are having fun there, huh? Absolutely, it's oh just a gosh. great time. I yeah, mean, if you go yeah. on our Instagram, I post videos all the time. You do okay. all the time of the classes. Okay. Yeah, and like, um, I just started, which I should have been doing from the start, but mm-hmm. that's another lesson that you learn. Yeah. Um, now I, if I post a video of like a full video of things going on, mm-hmm. I post what the class is, who the teacher is, what the song is, and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. So now you know. Yes. If I go to beginner tap, this mm-hmm. is what I can expect. Expectation. If yep. I go to dance cardio, this is what I can yep. expect. So things like that. Yeah. So just, you're, it, we're not trying to trick anyone. We're not yeah. trying to fool anyone. What you see is what you're going to get. Yes. And that's it. And you're, you just hear the laughing going yeah. on. You see the smiles. Yeah. I mean, it's crazy. And we yeah. have people who are 18 years old mm-hmm. and we have people who are in their 60s. So wow. it's just all over the place. Yes. There's no one type of yeah. client that we're 
targeting. It's, yeah. We want everyone to come. We have men. We have women. We have yeah, yeah. you know everybody. Yeah. So it doesn't. I would matter. say the, the, the only prerequisite is do you want to have fun? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> so I, I like place. that. Yeah. yeah. Do you want to have fun? Come to dance. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that's so awesome. It, I mean, it's just a great time. Yeah. It really, it really is, and there's mm. no you know prep work for it. You know, yeah. you you come however you want. You want to yeah. dance barefoot? Dance barefoot. You want to dance in sneakers? Mm. Sure. You know, wow. you want it shorts, tank, whatever. Just yeah, come yeah, however yeah. you want to come. And that's I love it. it. And you're just paying for the class. You don't yeah. need, you know, a, a monitor for anything. You don't yeah. need special shoes or socks or anything mm. like that. It's just whatever you want to be comfortable in, yeah. you be comfortable in. I love it. Yeah. That's incredible. Thank you me. really embrace this role of entrepreneur. And honestly, you're made for this. Thank you. Wow. You've got the personality for it, Thank the drive you. for it. You I know? try. Yeah. And uh, you're doing a good job. Thank you. I yeah. appreciate it. We're, hopefully, maybe one day you're going to open up like a bunch of these all over the place. You know, my um, my Uncle Bob, who's my Aunt Roro's husband, he always says, oh, this is just a start. This is just a start. Yeah. And in my head, I'm like, what? I can't even fathom. <laughs> think, oh, my God. You know? And I'm very grateful that this June, yeah. my Aunt Roro um, split her big space into mm. two smaller ones so I could get a full side for ourselves. Oh, wow. So now it's just dance on so you know i never had to build anything mm. you know growing up i never right. had to build a house or what yeah so you know going through that whole process you know yes. in my head i was like okay it's gonna be done in two weeks and during these two <laughs> weeks i'm gonna go to the gym right. i'm gonna be so relaxed i'm gonna get i was there every day oh yeah i was there every day i yep. oh my god i uh, there's so many things like you know my my uncle um you know, because we're Italian, so mm -hmm. we have a guy for everything. So mm -hmm. my uncle, you know, was the, you know, <laughs> contractor on the whole yes, thing. And, you know, yes. he would call me and say, all right, you got to come down here. And I would be like, oh, my God, why? Yeah. Yeah. And I would go down and, you know, thank yeah. God. But he would explain everything to me. Wow. And he would say, okay, you see this? This is this. This is that. Mm -hmm. With the town, you need this. You need that. And I'm like, what? <laughs> what do I need? Yeah. It's just so crazy. And, Crash you know, course in business. Absolutely. Yes. And, again, you don't realize everything it has to go, you know, everything that yeah. it requires unless you actually go through it. Yes. So when I went, I was like, oh, okay, I need a permit. And then they were like, okay, it's this much money. I was like, I'm sorry. What? <laughs> Why isn't it free? I don't yes, understand. Right. Why, I, what? Yeah, yeah. Or like, oh, you want hardwood? Well, yeah. you're at the why yeah i could just go cut down a tree yeah. right like i don't understand <laughs> what or even like the paint i never knew about bathroom special paint yeah. now i wish i did because yeah. i'm cleaning water stains oh all the time gosh. but you don't yeah. realize yeah. any of, the, of this until you actually go through it's it true. and i think that's you know instead of just getting frustrated mm -hmm. and just you know throwing your hands up you and just need up, to right? right you just need to have patience and yep. be like next time yeah i'm gonna do Live this and learn and just and it's just something that sits with you mm. so i um you know i'm very grateful that now we have this beautiful mm. big space you know it's just us it's mm. adults only um and it, you know i i just it's very surreal mm. to think about where we were a year ago and you know i see pictures from that lovely time hop on Facebook. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it, you know, a year ago you, this happened and I'm like, wow, look at that little room. And, you, you come know, a long way, a long way. And, yeah. you know, my, my mom helped me paint it, you know, well, actually I shouldn't say she helped me. She painted it because um, <laughs> I was fired. I was fired within five minutes. Oh my she was gosh. like, oh, okay, why don't you just go get us some food? And I was yeah. like, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thinking yeah, yeah. like, oh, I'm going to go help my mom and get some food. Meanwhile, right. she was like, you suck at painting. <laughs> uh, she was like, I, I don't understand why you can't do this. And Holy I'm like, Holy cow. I, and then By the way, have, dinners probably at your house are hilarious oh, like God. to be a fly in the wall i probably had a family dinner you know it, and it my, must be incredible. my sister is the really funny one okay she really like really? you're just around her and you just laugh i mean her and her husband yeah. are high school sweethearts yeah. and oh, he wow. still thinks she's hilarious yeah, yeah so yeah, yeah. you know she she just makes you laugh yeah, so yeah. you know and we're all italian so mm -hmm, we're always mm -hmm. together and sure. you know it just the laughs are just yeah. unreal cool. but so is the support and so is the yes. love and yeah. that's really why I, I got as far as i did yeah. because of them so i'm very very grateful yeah, yeah. But yeah, it, it, it is a good time. It's, uh, I just, th there's nothing I could say to really put it into words. Mm -hmm. You just have to come and experience it yourself. Yeah. Because once you do, you won't even be able to put it into words, but you'll get it. So it's just that feeling of community, confidence, fun, and happiness. That's really all it is. It's happiness. We're just there to help people be happy for an hour. And that feeling stays with you, you know? And then on the ride home, a song might come on that you just dance to and you're in your car and you're dancing. And it, it's just a feeling. There's really nothing like it. I mean, I'm not a runner. I never will be a runner. I hate running. I cheated on the mile every year in high school. I, it's, I, it's not for me. But I can, like, I can only imagine, you know, people who are runners 
there's you still don't get that feeling that you get when you're you know at dance on or if you lift weights there's just, there's just no feeling like dancing yeah there really it's a rush isn't. it is it's just you're just having such a great time i mean getting lost in the music and the song and you know or maybe a song comes on that you were like oh my god i forgot about this song and you know it's yeah. just it's just a time for yourself an hour for you yeah to make new friends yeah to feel great and that's really all it is. You know, yeah. we have people who I, you know, repost all their reviews and you can read what they say. You know, mm -hmm. I, I didn't pay anyone to do it. So it's all their own words. <laughs> and so, you know, it's, it's real. It's real. Yes. But um, and it, it really is for everybody. It doesn't matter where you're from, yeah. what you look like, how long you've been dancing, yeah. how long you've not been dancing. Yep. It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. You can do this. Yeah. And you can have fun. Try it. Yeah, absolutely. Just come down and try it. Just come down and try it. And, yeah. you know, we have even have... Um, People who are, I had one woman who was in her 70s that came because she wanted wow. to try a tap class because ever since she saw Singing in the Rain, she wanted to tap. Oh my gosh. So she came down and she tried it. Wow. And she said, I am so happy I yeah. did that. She goes, even if I'm only here once, I did it. And now we have a place for people to do that mm. and feel that way. That's amazing. So, yeah, thank you. So you're a local. I'm a local. You have a local business. A local business. And you're killing it. Thank you. You're doing trying, a really good job. Trying. All right. Everyone honestly needs to call you. They need to check they out do. your stuff. They yes. need to try this and class. And even if you don't want to call me because you don't like talking yeah. to people, that's fine. Yes. You can use the MindBody app to sign up or visit yeah. our website. And, yeah. you know, we even have walk-ins. Yeah. You know, back when we were in the small room, um, we could only accommodate about, like, 12 people, yeah. tops. Yeah. Now we have this massive room yeah. that, you know, you can just walk in. Yes. You know, it's better to sign up. But you can just walk in if yeah. you're like, you know what? I'm just gonna go there and do it. Starts right. in five minutes. I'm going. Right. Get in the yeah. car. Come That's down. That's it. And yeah. you know, even if you just need that like little burst of courage just to go, yes. you can. You yeah, know, yeah. we have the room. We'll make the room if we yeah. don't have the room. Yeah. We want you to come and dance. We want you to come and try it. That's awesome. Thank so you. if you want to be happy, go there. Absolutely. If, although if you revel in your unhappiness and you like to be sad, <laughs> don't. This is not right. for you then. No. And you know yeah. what? We've had people <laughs> who maybe have that kind of like negative you know, sure. vibe yeah. coming and it's either gone by the time they leave yes. or they don't come back. Right. And that's fine. Right. You know, it, they tried it and that's You it, live in your un unhappy world. That's right. That's fine. We're just here to have fun and dance. <laughs> but you know what? Even if you're not a dancer, we yeah. offer gift cards too. So wow. even if you want to gift it to someone, right. plug holiday season. Yeah. But you know, even if you want to buy a gift card, you yes. know, we have gift yeah. cards. You can gift dance to Amazing. somebody, you Amazing. know, we, and we offer um, packages. So that mm. way, it's not a, a monthly membership. You yes. know, we're not at that point yet. Maybe okay. somewhere in the future. Yeah. But yeah. right now, it's monthly memberships, okay. and you know, they come in five, ten, and twenty. Okay. And you have a year to use them. You Love know, it. You don't. We don't make you use yeah. them in three months. That's okay. just not realistic. Amazing. Life happens. Yeah. You know, life's busy. Yep. So you have a year to use them. Yeah. You can use them for any class on our schedule. Hmm. And we just try to make it. There's literally no possible. reason to actually try one of your classes. I agree. There's, There's absolutely no, no reason. reason. Yeah. Did you hear that? <laughs> There's no reason. <laughs> All right. So random question. Yes. What is one book that you've read? It could be anything from Dr. Seuss to something serious. Oh What's one book? Oh, let's see. Um, I am a hopeless romantic. Okay. So I read. The Twilight um, series. No. <laughs> God, no, no. No, okay. uh, I don't have the patience. I, I'm a math girl, remember? Yes. So I'm not really much of a reader. Okay. But um, one book that I read was um, I got it from the movie Sex in the City. Okay. Love Letters of Great Men. Yeah. Okay. And like just like reading that, I yes. was like, wow. I was like, this kind of just ruined me for the rest of my life because no man is ever going to write to me this way. But that's yeah. okay. It's, yeah. just, it's just nice to like yeah. kind of feel that my, like romance. Yeah, my wife is a hopeless romantic mm -hmm. as well. I knew I liked her. Yeah, she's amazing. <laughs> and But she, she'll she read these books or watch these movies that, that cast these individuals that are not real. I know. And then when she's done reading the book or watching the movie, and obviously I did not live up to the expectation of the of the character, <laughs> she, she looks at me like with such disappointment. I'm like... I'll, I'll try harder. <laughs> you know, well, you know what? At least you say the right thing. Yeah. I'll try harder. And yeah. I'm like, what do you expect? I mean, just watch the movie. Steal yeah. their idea. You yeah. know, well, there, okay. there you go. Just there you go. It. But I, I cannot great. turn into a vampire, though. So no, I, I do have limitations. That's okay. You know, you know flowers but, are so cool. Yeah, yeah. You know, there you go. It's all about fine. effort, right? Yeah. But the other book that I read was um, actually Derek Huff's book. Mm -hmm. um, he's a professional dancer. Um, oh, okay. Obviously, a male dancer. Yes. Um, he Is he the on, So You Thinking Can Dance guy? No, he's no. on Dancing with the Stars. That, that's I'm sorry. What you meant. Sorry. Yes. Yes, that's that what one. You meant. Got yes. it. And um, I read his book, um, and he just had like a fascinating life. Like he was in London for mm. most of his childhood, learning over there, and wow. you know, like why he started dancing was yeah. like really like funny to read oh, and like okay. all that stuff. All right. So I kind of I like the bios. You know, yeah. I'm obs Elvis obsessed. Really. 
Really? Elvis? Like Elvis. the singer Elvis? Elvis Presley. You're obsessed with Elvis. Obsessed. Well, you don't hear that every day. I know. Wow. That's All right, so we're gonna so have special. to get you come back and do a little little Elvis ditty for us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My sister's the singer, but okay. I can get her to do it. All right. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Well, listen. Thank you so much for coming out. Thank you for having um, me. Give one more plug. What's your name? What's the name of your business? Where can they find you? All that good stuff. Awesome. I am Michelle Marcianti. I am St. James born and bred Smithtown East alumni. And I have a business called Dance On Adult Dance and Fitness Studio. And we are for people 18 years and older who just want to come, be happy, and dance their troubles away. And we're located right in Smithtown on 347 across from the entrance to Nor Northern State Parkway. Awesome. Guys, you heard it. Go check her out. She's amazing. By the way, even just probably, I've, I haven't checked out your Instagram yet, but I have a feeling that if I did, I'm going to become obsessed and it's going to make me feel yes. good every day. It's and like, you're going to laugh. I'm really funny. Really? I try to be. All right. So, so a self-proclaimed -pro 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 uh, comedian here. All right. Yeah. All right uh, let's, let's see if it I lives up to I laugh at every single joke I make, so it has to <laughs> be funny. You think you're funny, yeah. right? <laughs> okay. My wife says that all the time. I think I'm funny. So uh, awesome. So go check her out. Follow her everywhere she is. Everywhere. And, and definitely get your friends together and check out one of the classes. I have a feeling everyone will be better for it. Let's all dance through life together. I love it, guys. I love it. All right. Thank you so much, guys. Don't forget, don't fear the process and don't fear grit. Take care, guys. Bye.